So I hadn't put up a video in a few days, and I guess my latest... <laughs> well, this isn't a political video. This is just a life uh, type of video. Uh, the first thing I wanted to point out was banking. Um, you know, I, I, I watch way too much YouTube, way too much Rumble. Uh, uh, by the way, Trump's speech tonight was pretty damn good. Thought he did a good job. Um, a lot better than, <laughs> than that dystopian Biden speech uh, with the red lighting in the background. Uh, Look like Darth Vader up there, but uh, that's just me. Not trying to get political on this video. So I just wanted to talk about things, um, you know, as I survive uh, with a broken neck in, uh, in my house, just trying to get everything ready. I mean, it's kind of like, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know? I mean, I'm just trying to survive. I'm trying to get my health back. I'm trying to get my exercise. Uh, and at the same time, I'm trying to prep for what I think is Armageddon. <laughs> you know? So it's like, wow, you know, how the hell do you do all this? So I just thought I'd put together some, some quick stuff here uh, just, to, just to talk about things. Uh, let's just, just get into it a bit. So, and I, I've covered some of this on previous videos, but see, this is, this is a nice tray. Uh, you can buy these on Amazon. I like it. It's got a nice cover. Uh, my ice maker wasn't working. Now, go figure. Uh, the dishwasher, well, when I replaced the garbage disposal, the dishwasher wasn't working. I had an electrician in. I felt like it was a waste of money. They came in. They took everything apart. They rewired everything, hooked it all back together, and said, we didn't find anything. Everything's fine. I said, well, okay. Well, guess what? The dishwasher is working. But the thing is, the ice maker is now working. So, But anyway, I had these ice trays. And, uh, you know, it's got the nice lid on it, and I highly recommend this. This is the uh, Super Cubes. Super Cubes, uh, <clears throat> they're not cheap, but a uh, lot better than just the regular ice trays. And, of course, you're going to want some filtered water. Let's put that off to the side. Uh, you know, I've been kind of thinking about, uh, and this is what I think that you need to think about, is uh, let's say we are facing Armageddon. Let's say we are going to have a housing crisis, which I think we are. Let's say we have a stock market crash, which I think we are. Let's say we have a banking crisis, which I think we are. Uh, let's say the shit just hits the fan. What are the things that you need to be doing? Well, you need to be looking around your house. Okay, do you need carpet cleaning liquid? Do you need extra batteries? Do you need, I mean, start thinking about all the things that, that you know, and I'm going through every, I mean, of course, my wife, my God. You know, uh, my ex-wife, excuse me. I, By the way, my final meeting was today with her. Uh, I showed her a bunch of stuff that I thought she might want. Most of the time, she just gives it all back to me. And then I got to figure out what I'm going to throw away, what I'm going to keep. And I'm going to tell you, as I, as I kind of roam around the house, uh, you know, I, I say look at things once, look at it twice, look at it three times. You know, your wife or your ex-wife might not have been a complete idiot. And a lot of that stuff... If you think about it long enough uh, and give it, you know, chew on it and not just react and just throw it away, you can find uses for a lot of this stuff. And so I've been kind of uh, using a lot of that stuff. So let's get into a little bit of that. So the, the, the first thing that I thought about today, uh, or as far as, well, there's a couple things about taking care of the house. All right. So let's say this shit hits the fan. And by the way, I mean, being disabled, um, I mean, it's hard. I, like today, I, I walked uh, I walked 1.5 miles, and I, what I did was I got real close to the edge of the asphalt. And luckily here in Florida, there's sand off to the right. And uh, my knee, my knee collapsed, and uh, I fell down. And I just, but I fell into the sand, and it was a very nice, soft landing. You know, I pre-planned for that. I'm just trying to work myself up. So that, hey, 1.5 miles ain't bad, huh? So, you know, and, and all I had was one fall into the sand. Uh, and, of course, I'm just walking on asphalt. I'm not doing any trails or anything. But, hey, it's a start. All of it's a start. I mean, that's where you got to go when you're disabled, man. Just keep pushing. Push, push, push. All right. So, um, so I got this blower. Uh, now, one of the things about my house here in Florida is, man, I'm telling you, the leaves and the debris. I mean, I got an oak tree out front. I got oak trees in the back. I love the privacy. Oh my God. I love the, the bushes and the trees. And I mean, it's so quiet here, uh, but you pay, you pay for your privacy. And uh, 
Now, the, the, the electrical company, they've come in and they've cut these trees way back, but I still got to deal with all the leaves, so I got to have a blower that works. So I bought one battery, or the Eco Blower, 80 miles an hour, and then Ergo, or EGO, EGO, and yeah, there it is, EGO. And, uh, and so I tell you, I, I love having the battery. And uh, so then I bought two more, and I bought a weed eater, uh, because, you know, of course I got a crew that comes in, and they, they weed eat the lawn, they do pretty good, but I was... I went back when I was hiking, I was weed eating the trails. So then I thought today, well, what happens uh, if we can't get those batteries no more? They have a limited lifespan. So I ordered another battery, $150 today. Now, those, these bat the reason why this came up, okay, let me explain, was I was working on the golf cart. And uh, where's it at? Right here. Okay, so um, the batteries on the golf cart, uh, because they they sat in the garage for seven months while I was up in Virginia. And then, of course, two months while I was in the hospital with a broken neck. Um, so, you know, you don't want to let batteries uh, sit that long. I think they're lead acid. And uh, But at the same time, I wanted to show you, this is the CRC battery terminal protector. Um, luckily, I had put this on those batteries. And uh, you know what? The, I can't play 18 holes with the golf cart, but it's going to get me around the neighborhood and everything. And I'm hoping I can rejuvenate those batteries. And I've been watching some um, YouTube videos, and I called a couple of cart guys. Cart guys said they can't, it can't be done, but I don't believe that. Those batteries are only three years old. Uh, and, and then, of course, I used, um, yeah, here we go. I don't know why, but there was like uh, gunk and grease on top of the golf cart, maybe for my wife playing golf before, uh, you know, because she used that golf cart all the time before she... Uh, uh, divorced me and did the midnight run and took all the stuff out of the house but uh so this was foamy engine brake cleaner and so i sprayed this over the top of the batteries and then cleaned them off really well and then i used uh, some clorox and so maybe maybe that's not the best thing i'm not saying i know what i'm doing i just been watching youtube videos i just wanted to get them nice and clean and then i put the battery protector on there and uh and then of course you know you got to add distilled water to the batteries um so i'm hoping you know hey who knows? Maybe that, that I can get those batteries. I mean, I, I think they're a hell of a lot better off now than they were. Uh, I cleaned up the whole cart, so the golf cart's good to go. Uh, the next thing was um, uh, the HOA came down on me. Uh, man, I tell you, when you live in the... Um, you, you pay the price, okay? You're in a gated community. You're somewhat safe here. If you can believe that old people riding around in a car can uh, protect you from uh, robbers... Because all they had to do was break in the back of my house any time, but luckily that didn't happen. Um, but uh, at the same time, you know, I mean, it's 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 pretty safe here, but you pay the price. So the HOA, they're like, oh, you got to power clean, power wash your driveway, and the roof's got some black stuff on it, even though it's a three-year-old roof. Uh, you know, so anyway, I bought this. Um, I, I did a lot of research at YouTube. This is called uh, Super Clean. And, uh, and in the meantime, you know, I had a power washer, uh, but it, it broke before I left uh, to go up to Virginia back in January of, uh, of this, this year, 2022. And so I knew I needed to get a new power washer. And I did a lot of research, and I could have gone out and got the Cat Daddy. There's, actually, they make a, a 3,000 RPM uh, or PSI power washer. Uh, this is the Home Depot Roby. Um, and uh, I put it together and it's good to go. Uh, you know, I had to do some specialized work. These little, there's little rubber feet down here. I had to glue those back on. And, uh, and then I put some electrical tape around them. And, uh, but what I wanted to tell you about was the accessories. You know, I had to get the foam cannon because I'm going to use uh, this, this uh, super clean to spray it over the driveway and also spray it onto the roof. But how are you going to do that? Right? We gonna? You, I guess you could hook up one of them little. I mean, my wife used to buy those cheap plastic things for fertilizing her plants and stupid. It, I swear they never lasted. They always broke. Uh, the black plastic was shattered. No, I got the foam cannon. It's it, eighty freaking dollars, man. Holy moly! But you know what? I mean, it, it it should last well the rest of my life, I would think. And uh, and so now I can use that foam cannon, spray this stuff over the driveway, and then I got this. Um, Damn it. Oh, here it is. This is the Roby, uh, well, 
surface cleaner. I guess it, I'm going to use it for the sidewalk and the driveway. So I spray that super clean on there and then I'm just going to use this with the power washer and go over top of it. So we got the foam cannon. Then the other thing uh, that the, the guy pointed out, if you want to watch it, it's on YouTube. Uh, you can go up. It's uh, power clean accessories or power washer accessories. Um, anyway, he recommended the quick connects. I bought those. I don't know. That was another 30 bucks. And then um, what was the third? Oh, and then, of course, the wand, which is really cool for working on the car. I mean, you know, I don't know. I didn't bring the wand out. It's, I guess it's back there. But, you know, the regular wand that comes with these is like this long. Well, they, they have these little hand wands that you can use, and that's what's going to connect up to the uh, the foam thing. So I had to buy the wand, too. So, I mean, you, you're, you're looking at 400 damn dollars, but, okay, you say, well, that's just stupid money, stupid money. No, if I had to think about it, I'm disabled. I'm learning as a disabled person that, you have to pay for everything. You know, if you want somebody to come in and cook for you, it's a ton of money. If you want somebody to come in and clean your house, it's a ton of money. If you want somebody to, to power wash your driveway, it's a ton of money. So you just, I mean, luckily, I mean, I'm in the condition where I can just kind of plow through these things. Yeah, am I going to go out and power wash the whole damn driveway in a day? No, hell no. Might take me two or three days, but... But that's going to save me $200. I'd probably pay somebody $200. I had to pay somebody just to go up. I Because I obviously I have to blow the leaves off my roof. I paid them $150 just to go up and blow the leaves. Now, when, when fall comes, which I'm hoping I'm going to get better, um, I'm going to be up there blowing them myself. And that's why those batteries were important. Um, buying buying this, the, these Eco batteries. You know, this is it's so, you know, when when you're healthy and you're working you go through these batteries pretty quick and you want multiple batteries so you can change them in and out in my case i just want batteries that are going to last me for a few years because i don't think you're going to be able to buy these anymore and that was where i was getting back to the golf cart so i called the guy on the golf cart and i said well how much is it going to cost to replace the batteries on this thing he said the batteries because of the green new deal have gone sky high i mean it you know, you used to be able to pick up those batteries for 800 bucks. I mean, they're like 1600 damn dollars for the same batteries. And my carts are 2000 carts. So what the hell? Am I going to really replace those batteries? Hell no. Hell no. I'm going to, I'll work on what I can work out to rejuvenate them. There was a YouTube video where you could hook up a, a welder to the battery and, you know, and boil it. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I'm considering all options. If I ruin the batteries, so be it, you know. Uh, so let's just keep going. By the way, this is a, uh, th this, I wanted to talk about this. This is a table that I bought. I looked all over, uh, YouTube, um, because I do sit in my chair and watch TV and I need to be able to eat in the chair. Cause I mean, sitting at the table with a broken neck is, is a pain in the ass. Uh, plus I, I like being in the comfort of my Florida room. So I can use this table. I've got my razors right here, and I've got my, this is my blood pressure uh, uh, checker right here, and I've got my uh, my feet get cold at night, so I got those down there, and it's a nice little table. You just roll it right up and uh, and put it across the uh, the chair. It was the best one I could find. Now you, you can look on Amazon and uh, maybe find something better, but I'm telling you, this... The, by the way, it was a bitch putting it together. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, oh, the other thing with the uh, power washer was the reason why I bought that uh, foam gun was, uh, and, and this was true. I, I, let's just talk about my experience with power washers, okay? I Up in Michigan, I bought the Cat Daddy. I mean, it was the gas-powered, uh, you could slice uh, wood with the thing, you could cut wood. You could probably split wood with the power washer that I bought. Uh, big mistake. My wife, she destroyed the house with it. But I mean, you know, that, that's what getting married, you know, they don't, they don't understand how to adjust that pressure. But anyway, um, but I did use this. They had, it had three soap, con four soap containers and all kinds of crazy shit. But he pointed out, you know, don't put soap down in here. And, uh, and, and so I, I don't plan on doing that. Um, I'm going to use the foam gun, and that way when the water's coming out, it hits that soap. So the components down in here should never get exposed to, uh, especially like the super clean. 
uh, you wouldn't want to put that down in here and I wanted to be able to blow that out uh, dang, God, what's the what's the other thing um, oh anyway there's a, oh there's another thing is um, uh, one of the things with a gas powered uh, power washer is you uh, what you do is you uh, when you're done with it you drain it you let it dry for a couple of days because you're going to store it because you're not using I used to use it only about three times a year and uh, and so when you store it you just can't just put it in the basement of course that time I had a basement god getting that thing up and down the stairs was a nightmare I didn't have a garage up in Michigan thank god I got one here but uh, so anyway when you store it you know what you want to do and this is a mechanic neighbor of mine is you put some oil in there and you pull that handle and you crank that oil around the motor so that when it gets stored it'll stay lubricated well the same thing with these electric power washers uh, it was only seven bucks uh, you can go up there's a there's a uh, like I think it's once again CRC you just screw it into the, the the attachment down on the bottom where the hose screws in and then you pump that uh, that oil up into the uh, electric power washer and that'll keep everything nice and lubricated when you put it into storage so that was another thing that I bought so you're looking at four things I had to buy just for the power washer alone <clears throat> you know one, one of the things uh, we're working on is uh, this is total the the invasion stopper uh, be putting this on the front door uh, if the FBI comes it's going to take a battering ram to get that front door down uh, they're going to have to actually knock the frame out <laughs> that front door just ain't going to pop open like in the movies uh, and then of course I, I am putting in some new windows uh, impact resistant windows hopefully for the house and uh, that's more about hurricanes and shit like that I, it's really not about security but at the same time I mean you know somebody trying to break into the house I'm here by myself I'm a handicap I'm crippled <clears throat> you know give me some time to to get to a weapon um, and, and you know fend off uh, anybody trying to break into the house so I guess uh, that's that's the main oh well like let's get back to the banking so this guy in uh, Britain he was trying to withdraw his money um, they wouldn't give him his money and uh, they kept you know the, the the games that they play well are you under any sort of duress uh, is anybody holding a gun to your head or is some as a relative been kidnapped they were playing all kinds of games because this guy just wanted to get his money out of the bank well I'm telling you it's gonna come to that here uh, now I'm not saying take all your money out and stick it under a mattress or something like that but I am saying have an ample amount of cash around the house that where you can at least pay some bills for a, a month or two if the bank locks its doors or they're gonna limit the amount of cash that you can get out of the bank that's number one um, you know number two I mean you know it's uh, I mean it's looking more and more like we're heading for a banking crisis uh, so this this was another one that he faced was um, he charged up I mean he's a business owner the guy I mean think about it I'm just a little teeny fish all right so I'm a little teeny fish and uh, I bought a I bought a thousand dollar TV okay um, it's not here yet so if you're a burglar um, you got no TV and you know anyway I, I, I can't imagine that that by the time you got it out of here it's only going to be worth about you know four hundred dollars but you do what you want you can break in and steal the, the TV but uh, so anyway uh, what happened was I mean and they do this all the time is they called me up and and so the next time I went to use the credit card credit cards locked well you had a big purchase on your credit card I said it's a thousand damn dollars what do you what are you guys worried about well you know it's an unusual purchase I said well yeah but I charged you know groceries I charge everything to the credit card I, you know sometimes I mean especially since I've been prepping you know I mean sometimes it's five six hundred dollars a pop well anyway what I'm what I wanted to get to the bottom line is is okay they froze the credit card then I had to call them up I had to bitch at them so th these are the things you're gonna face as you get and that's just a thousand bucks this guy uh, well he was <laughs> he was over the tens of thousands category you know so I can imagine why they they were giving him a hard time about withdrawing his money but it's still his money so I'm just I'm just telling you so one of the things that that I've done right okay is as I've charged stuff okay as I've, I've as I need carpet cleaner as I need floor cleaner as I need dishwashing detergent as I need 
toilet paper, you know, all these things, you know, they, it seems like every week I've been piling up, you know, $500, $600 bills. And now I'm, I'm winding down. I, the house is pretty stocked at this point. Uh, I bought, oh, here's another thing. I just bought some food. Um, now you can go to four Patriots or some of these, uh, sites that you see, uh, I, I'm telling you, I prefer the Mountain House, okay? And I, I couldn't get it at REI, but I got it at Cabela's. And you might say, well, God, you know, are they any good? They're fantastic, man. And they keep for till 2023 or, you know, 20, I mean, like 25 years or something, you know? I mean, and the thing I like about them is they're in a little pouch. It's two, I mean, literally two, for me, it's three meals, but for you, it might only be two meals or one meal, depending on if you're a big dude. And, uh, and I'm telling you, I mean, you know, so I bought 10 of those, $109. That, that for me is enough food for a whole month, $109 for a whole month of food. Now go to the grocery store, Buy milk, buy bread, buy everything else. I guarantee you'll be over $109 for a month's worth of food. So you do the math. So I've been kind of stocking up on those. And they're great for backpacking. They're great for camping. Because they're in that small size. And all you do is boil your water, add the water in, you, you eat it out of the pouch, and then you just throw the pouch in the garbage. All right, so I guess that's it for this video. I just kind of wanted to make a... A general knowledge video of everything that I'm going. Oh, hey, uh, two other things. Um, <laughs> this worked out real well. Uh, you know, I fell down my mom's stairs in Virginia and broke my neck because she didn't have a railing. And luckily, I made a YouTube, the booger video. You got to watch that one uh, about the stairs and how there was no railing. Uh, well, guess what? That might help me. I didn't realize I got a liability claim there. Because mom had no railing and her insurance company might might at least pay for my hotel room that I paid for when I got out of uh, rehab up in Charlottesville. So we'll see. We'll see where that goes. So that was good to have that video. And uh, um, there was another video that, that, that was important. So, I mean, sometimes making these videos, uh, you know, my wife used to say, well, you're way too public and it's going to come back to haunt you. Well, it, it might haunt you in good ways. You never know. All right, so peace out, stay free. Let's do the mantra. Good to live in the free, the free, the free state of Florida, where we have no mandates, no, no, no mask requirements. Uh, well, I, I shouldn't say that. I, my physical therapy, they're actually <laughs> requiring me to wear a mask. I'm just like, I'm amazed. I mean, no, well, actually, the VA still requires me to wear well, That's a federal, you know, federal institution. Uh, oh, on that note, uh, two, three things I got out of the VA was um, I went in and uh, they, and by the way, don't let things linger. They had contacted me and said I needed to renew my blood pressure medication. Well, my blood pressure is normal. Thank God. I don't even know how that's possible, but my blood pressure is normal. And I contacted my doctor and luckily he's a good doctor. And he said, well, if your blood pressure is normal, let just discontinue it. So I've got I, hey, I feel bad. I got tons of blood pressure medication, which is expensive as hell here that I'm, I'm never going to take, uh, hopefully, uh, cross my fingers. And, uh, and so I called them up and I said, you know, they wanted to know if I needed to renew it. And I said, no, I don't need to renew that, but I do need to renew the, um, the catheters and, uh, and then, of course, the, the, um, the uh, lubrication. And, uh, and they were like, no problem. And so, but it's not due until mid-September, mid but it's done right? The only thing I forgot about was the sleeping pills, man. I tell you, that was another good thing my doctor did for me at the VA. He gave me sleeping pills. So don't discount the VA if you're a veteran. I mean, you can get some, some good, good things out of it. All right. Peace out. Stay free. And if you're a Democrat, stay the hell out of Florida.